Hello, and welcome to Aspen Now Solutions, where I aim to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'm Jason Miller, and today I just wanted to start off uh, by showing you uh, two playlists which I've created. Uh, one is ServiceNow Kingston, and the other one is ServiceNow SLA videos. Uh, reached a bunch of videos there. They kind of weren't ordered in any specific fashion, so I figured just put them in groups. And if you want to put a playlist on in the black background, uh, kind of when you're you're doing your thing at home, uh, kind of listen to some of the stuff that um, I'm teaching on the tool, um, you can do that. Some of these overlap, by the way. So some are SLA videos, which are performed in Kingston. So I just wanted to note that. So today, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to it. We're going to talk about incident, incident alert management. And uh, here are some of the features, uh, which the documentation product documentation illustrates. Uh, note that we're in Kingston here. Um, just shows the features, which basically you can create an incident alert when the crisis occurs. You set up the contacts. You can manage the incident alerts to improve communication. Um, one of the things that's optional is this notify feature. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to explore this um, more in detail, just because I believe this requires a subscription. Um, and then also uh, monitoring via dashboards and reports. Um, one thing I want to note here, if you're uh, from ServiceNow watching this, if you could go ahead and correct that typo, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so right now we have a related task, which is activating the plugin. So let's move over to that. Okay, so it gives us instructions here on how to activate the, uh, the plugin. Uh, I'm just going to go and show you how to do it. And uh, we can even click on what's installed with the, insert, with the uh, alert management, um, we'll, the plugin when we activate it. So it gives us a couple of tables here. Um, here are the, the plugins. Um, the properties are here. I, I can let you uh, go through that. Um, one of the things that uh, right here was the escalation level, positive values. Now here it says set to negative one to include everybody in the escalation plan. So I want, that's one thing I want to do. Uh, to draw out there. Uh, it gives us our user roles here. Um, and then we just go on down the list with the UI actions. And I, I can show you where all this um, is housed. Uh, <clears throat> and actually there's uh, some there are some examples of good scripting in there too. So without further ado, I just wanted to show you what the incident form looks like before we uh, activate the plugin. We're gonna see our related links see here show SLA timeline and repair SLAs uh, that's fine but one thing that uh, we're gonna see here is uh, something that says uh, uh, incident alert uh, I think it's activate incident alert or something uh, of that nature but we'll refresh the screen and we'll see if it appears after we do the program uh, excuse me after we activate the plugin um, right here I uh, went to the uh, list here typed in plugin and then I'm gonna click on plugins um, or this is what you would do, and then you would type in incident alert management, and this, uh, this line item comes up here. We'll notice our status is inactive, so we'll click on incident alert management right now. All right, so right here, we'll click on this related link, and the UI action brings up this window. Load demo data. I'm going to bring in that demo data also. I'm going to click activate. And it should start chugging away here. Uh, when I ran it before, the plugin activation did not uh, take that much longer um, than, than other ones that I've seen in, in the past. It just depends on the connection. And then what I'll do here is we can go back to our incident list while we're waiting. Actually, I'll bring up a uh, Bring up a fresh incident in a second. All right, looks like we are in our system plugin. Let it refresh the list. We'll give it just one second. And here we are. So it's going to give us our logs down here and the plugin files. Uh, I'll let you explore that on your own. Okay, so now um, let's do an incident.do and we'll see if that. Um, UI action appears towards the bottom once we set up a new uh, incident caller. Let's see here. Where are we going to put it? I think they had Joe employee. Is that right? Yeah, Joe employee. Put in test 
plug in. Yeah, I think that's all we need. Now we can scroll down. Here we go. Create incident alert. That's what it is right there. Um, also, you know what? Come to think of it, let's check out and see if we can find it one of the old ones. Uh, this is closed, so it probably won't be on this one. Let's try this in progress one. Let's see if it's uh, down here. Scroll down. Yep, create incident alert. It appears there. So even for the old incidents, uh, you'll have that UI action there. All right, so now we'll create the incident alert. And then one thing you're going to see is that it's going to bring some of the data um, from the incident into the, into the alert uh, once this pulls up. All right, moving a little slow today, are we? Okay, so you'll see here, we have default contacts. And let's see here, it gives us our number that was created. Uh, our source incident is here. If we want to take a look at that, we would click on this I. And then we could even open the record for here if we wanted to. Um, so now, this is what I was talking about before, our background, it brings in a whole bunch of details from before. So it looks like activity log um, with some other information. Now I'll just type in test for our description. And I'm going to save this. OK, excellent. And here we have a tab with the activity um, log there. And then also we have some related lists down here. So <clears throat> our impacted CI, um, if we wanted to um, create SLAs, we wouldn't create the SLA off the incident alert itself. We would create it off the incident alert tasks. So perhaps that'll be a future segment. Uh, here we have our user contacts. And um, some of these tabs I'm going to go over in a future segment because I'm going to have a um, I'm going to create multiple segments um, for incident alerts um, since there's a lot of information. So here we have our user contacts, group contacts, uh, related incidents, and then related problems. Uh, so it looks like there's a lot going on here with this one, and probably a good candidate for an alert. Okay, so that's our plugin, and now let's type in. Uh, let's refresh this screen, and then we're going to type in alert in the uh, filter navigator. And we'll see all these new options that have um, popped up since we added the plugin. And I believe the name of the, uh, the table is incident underscore alert dot list. But what we're going to do is we're going to do dot config. And I'll show you where the business rules are, etc. Okay, so here are business rules. We have our client scripts. Um, I think there's a UI action here, which let's see here: view, show live view, follow on live feed. Um, here are notifications, so you'll definitely want to check these out. I'll probably do this a little bit more in depth um, next time. And let's see here, capturing open close resolved info. I think this might have been it right here. All right, so let's see our actions here. Yeah, so this is basically uh, using the condition builder. Um, state is one of these. And then um, it looks like what it's doing is uh, making it read only. Uh, this uh, disruption time field um, once we, we get to a closed state. So you can explore those um, on your own for right now. I'm going to create a couple more segments, which, um, which when we go through these, um, it'll become a little bit more clear as to, to what this does. But for right now, um, we've activated the plugin, and we know how to create an incident alert uh, from an incident. My name is Jason Miller, uh, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, when we, where we try to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Uh, one thing I wanted to add is that if you're a recruiter or someone looking for a job, um, I've been contacted lately with more requests than I can possibly handle, so I'm more than happy to help you out. If you want to connect with me, this is my LinkedIn page, um, and I'll be more than happy to help. 
All right, as I like to say, we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Thank you and have a great day.